Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. Your one and only, Mr. Upscaler. I just came across this article and this is on PlayStation Blog. This is straight up from the uh, PlayStation Blog. I felt like, why don't we just go through this and let's just read through what it says on the PlayStation Blog about the specs of the system and what the system can do. Because I like to go directly straight to the source to get all the info that I needed about the PlayStation 4 Pro because I already pre-ordered this console for November 10th and that's the main reason why I'm doing a little bit more research on it. So, and I think also some of you will be interested to know exactly uh, the specs about the system and what the, the differences are between the original PlayStation and this PlayStation Pro and just what basically it can do. So let's just dive right through it. Let's go through here. All right, so PlayStation is introducing a new choice of console gamers with PlayStation Pro, a powerful addition to PlayStation 4 family. Okay, so we all know about this. Let's dive into the uh, what this console can do. Everybody knows how it looks. It has three layers. I don't know why it has three layers, but anyway, you know. And we also know that right here on this side, see where I'm pointing the fingers? Uh, right here on this side has that blue light. You know, now it's in front. I don't know why is it now on top right here, but anyway. And you can see clearly here, there's three layers right here. One, two, three. And I'm considering uh, the disc's gonna be right in here somewhere on the top or around here somewhere. And you can see a little blue light also dimming out, coming out. So this is going to be a thick console. And when he was holding it, man, when that guy came out out of the press conference, uh, it looked pretty heavy. At least to me, it looked pretty heavy. So I don't know. So let's scroll down and uh, let's look. Uh, the controller looks pretty much the same, except, you know, it has that blue light right here on that pad, on the touch pad. So let's let's read about it a little bit more. All right, right here, with its increased performance over the standard PlayStation 4, PlayStation Pro represents first for PlayStation and in many ways for console gaming. We're excited by this vision, but we know many of you will have questions. That's why we built our latest ultimate faculty below facts. Let's go. These facts will serve as a living document and will continue to add new questions, details, and specific, uh, specific leading up to lunch November 10th in North America. If you have questions that aren't addressed, leave them in the comments below. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the uh, basics of the questions. Okay, what is PlayStation uh, Pro? PlayStation 4 Pro. PlayStation 4 Pro, it's a high-end version of PlayStation 4 that is capable of outputting 4K graphics. So right there, that argument is ended. It can and will output 4K graphics. So I don't want to hear anybody saying, oh, it's only upscale. No, this will output, output 4K graphics. It's coming straight to the source. Are you trying to tell me? that Sony is going to lie, the source is going to lie, they're telling you they have technology and ways with AMD, with 4 teraflops, they can achieve that, okay? You don't work in the uh, ITT tech, you don't work in the uh, graphics industry to understand how they can achieve that. So, they're telling you they can do it, they will do it. Okay, so they're outputting 4K graphics with HDR. So not only are you getting a native 4K, but you're getting a native 4K with HDR support. And to me, that's for $400, man, can you really go wrong with that? I don't think so. So let's continue. With HDR support, smoother and more stable frame rates and 4K video streaming upon its launch, PlayStation Pro will make supports will make supported PlayStation 4 games look better and run more smoothly. So here's a great deal. This is where I'm excited. Okay, right here. Not only are you getting a uh, more capable outputting 4K graphics HDR support uh, console, but at the same time your existing 
games will look better and will support 4K video on that game. So there you go. PlayStation Pro will make supported PlayStation 4 games look better and run more smoothly while giving developers an upgraded toolset to create even richer, more detailed game worlds. How these powerful new tools are used? It's up to individual developers and the experiences they are creating. You have seen some of these examples during PlayStation meeting. It is important to know that PlayStation Pro, it's not another generation of console. It won't make your current PlayStation 4 game obsolete. And it won't split the PlayStation 4 player. Hold on. Base. PlayStation Pro, it's very much a part of the PlayStation 4 family. So what have we learned? Okay, so here's a couple of things that we need to point out. Number one, PlayStation 4 Pro, it's giving developers... Okay, they already got the horsepower. So what they're basically saying is, okay, here you, here you go. We made this uh, console that has enough horsepower to handle everything you need to handle. And four teraflops, believe me, guys, more than enough. Uh, it's up to the developers to use that and work around that to create a uh, suitable experience for 4K. All right? So they're basically giving developers tools. All right, here's this hardware that has all this uh, extra horsepower. Now it's up to you developers to go ahead and make your games adaptable and look great with this system. So right there, we're learning that what Sony is doing is letting developers know that we're giving you all the necessary hardware that you will need to use your tools to create games to run better on the uh, our console. And now with AMD and Walken, I think there's this, I forgot, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this, uh, there's this, uh, uh, this, this new, uh, it's this new, uh, it's kind of like DirectX 12, but it's like AMD's version of uh, DirectX 12. I could be wrong on this. You guys might have to correct me on this. Uh, there might be supporting a Walken. And the uh, AMD chip that's inside uh, this console with the Walken uh, and that four teraflops, I think developers will be able to work around that uh, 4K native resolution with HDR and try to keep the frame rates in the loop. So I, I think what Sony is doing here is telling developers, okay, here you go, here's our hardware, and there you go, go out there and use all this power to go ahead and create a plausible, good-looking uh, 4K native game. And I think one developers, uh, one developer that will take full advantage of this I personally believe it's going to be a couple of companies. Uh, David Cage, Quantum Dreams, they definitely take the full uh, capabilities of this console. And number two, it's going to be Naughty Dog. So I'm counting on two of them, uh, Naughty Dog and Quantum Dreams. I think they're going to really dive into it. Uh, and also, we might see, obviously, uh, Activision, Call of Duty. Uh, someone told me, I think... I don't know what I heard, but someone told me, don't quote me on this, but I heard that uh, Call of Duty, this new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, is that what it's called? It's going to run in 60 frames per second, so I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, look, I, this is really exciting, guys, uh, that you're getting a console for $400 equivalent to you buying a graphics card for that, that much <laughs> just to run your PC. So I think, personally, this is a good deal. And I'm not really sweating over a uh, 4K USD Blu-ray player. I already have two. I have two players, one on Xbox One S and one on the uh, Samsung. But I always use my Samsung to watch 4K uh, USD Blu-ray movies because it's just, it's just much better, you know. So there it is, guys. You know, it will run on native 4K. And now the only thing that's left to do is wait till November 10th. Alright guys, thank you all for watching.